Lunalite is a fusion-based archetype based around main deck monsters that have effects that activate when they are sent to the graveyard by card effects, and their fusion spell allows you to use monsters from your deck or extra deck as fusion materials as well. So your main boss monsters, even though they need a fusion monster as a material, you can achieve that pretty easily without having to make that fusion monster by just using the fusion spell and using materials directly from your extra deck. Let's go over the cards one by one. First of all is our hand traps. We have a temperance. Temperance allows us to basically reduce our uh, damage to zero if we take any. The same goes for our white princess, but instead of reducing our damage, it reduces our all monsters attack according to their level. So these two cards will help us not die if we don't draw Lunar Light Fusion, so we can always rely on our skill to grab ourselves to fusion. Next is the Lunar Light Monsters, we're playing to Yellow Martin, when it is uh, sent to your graveyard by card effect, you can grab a Lunar Light Spell or Trap, and also uh, if it is in your hand or graveyard, you can return a Lunar Light card you control back to your hand and then special summon this card in a defense position, but it is going to be banished if it leaves the field. Next is three copies of Purple Butterfly. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, and one monster you control gains a fast and attack. You can banish this card from the graveyard and special summon a Lunar Light from your hand. It is just more Lunar Light monsters that we can play. It doesn't really matter what their effects are most of the time because we just need more monsters as our material. Lunar Light Crimson Fox actually has a really useful effect. If it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can reduce a monster's attack to zero until the end of the turn. This allows us to OTK really easily with Cat Dancer. When a card or effect is activated that targets a Lunar Light monster you control, you can banish this card from a graveyard and then negate the activation and then gain a thousand life points for both players. And even with the life point gain effect, you can still OTK using your uh, Cat Dancer because it has 2400 attack plus 100 burn damage and it can attack twice. So that is uh, 5000 points of damage, which will be enough even if your opponent gains 1000 life points. We have a copy of Emerald Bird. When this card is normal special summon, you can send a Lunar Light card from your hand to the graveyard and then uh, draw a card. If it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you could target a level 4 or lower Lunar Light monster that is banished or in your graveyard and special summon it back, but negate its effects. And lastly, we have probably the best main deck Lunar Light monster, Lunar Light White Rabbit. When it's normal summoned, you can revive a Lunar Light monster in your graveyard in defense position, and this includes the fusion monsters. So if you ever want to bring back one of your fusions after you have properly fusion summoned them, you can just bring them back using White Rabbit, but it is going to be in defense position. Once return, you can target a spell and traps, up to the number of Lunar Light cards you control other than this card, and return them to your hand. So this is both a way to revive your Lunar Lights for more fusion material, and a way to get rid of your opponent's back row. And finally, we have three copies of a Lunar Light Fusion. It is our main fusion spell. It um, fusion summons Lunar Light monsters by using hand uh, and uh, field materials. But if your opponent has a monster that is special summoned from the extra deck, you can also use one Lunar Light monster in your deck or extra deck as your fusion material. And this is really good to help us bring out uh, our big fusion monsters that require us to have. Uh, one of the other fusion monsters as its material. We don't actually have to bring them out because we can just use an, uh, we can just use a uh, material from our extra deck directly using our fusion spell. And one thing I want to note is that I am not playing the blue cat because I don't own blue cat. And if you have blue cat, you probably should play uh, one or two copies of this card. It's pretty good, or even free and maybe replace some of the other cards, like maybe take away a few copies of Purple Butterfly, or maybe take away some uh, of the hand traps. But I'll also uh, quickly go over what Blue Cat does. If it's special summoned, you can target a Lunar Light monster you control, except Lunar Light Blue Cat, and double its original attack until the end of the turn. And this effect will make OTKing a lot more easier if it wasn't easy enough already. And uh, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a Lunar Light monster from your deck, and it includes itself. So you can just summon itself again and again, and basically just block all of your opponent's attacks. And this also triggers when your opponent destroys it by card effect, so it's pretty nice. 
For our extra deck, we were playing all of the Luna Light Fusion Monsters. We were playing one Leo Dancer. It needs a Panther Dancer plus two Luna Lights. Panther Dancer is one of our other Fusion Monsters, and uh, we can just use it directly from the extra deck using Luna Light Fusion. It must be Fusion Summoned with the above Fusion Materials, so you can't use a substitute. And cannot be special summoned by any other ways. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Really good protection. Basically, it makes it a lot harder than a lot of the other boss monsters to remove. Uh, because most removal targets or destroys. So only a very small amount of removal will actually get rid of this card. Stuff like Dengusu, for example. This card can make two attacks every battle phase. And once per turn at the end of the damage step, if this card attacked a monster, you destroy all special summoned monsters your opponent controls. This is a really good effect to clear your opponent's board. Usually, with the first attack, you can deal a, a bit of damage, plus wipe your opponent's entire board, and then for the second attack, you can attack directly, and that is usually enough for an OTK. So Leo Dancer will be our main way to OTK our opponent. Our second main way to uh, OTK is using Cat Dancer. Uh, this is the old way that uh, Lunar Light decks used to be able to do OTKs. Uh, it relies on uh, having two Lunar Light monsters, so you can use all you can also use one from your deck if you want to. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Once returned during your main phase, you can tribute one other a Lunar Light monster, and then it can attack every monster twice. And what this allows us to do is, if we use a copy of uh, Crimson Fox from our deck as one of the materials. You could reduce one of your opponent's attack to zero and then attack that zero attack monster twice and that will deal 5,000 uh, battle damage and it will be enough for lethal. And also if your opponent tries to target Cat Dancer, it is not immune to target effects but you can still negate a target effect using Crimson Fox which is pretty nice. We are playing a copy of Panther Dancer, honestly the effect doesn't come up at all because we're not going to make it most of the time we're just gonna we're just using this card as a material for our leo dancer but uh, i'll just go over the effects real quick it's basically a, a better version of cat dancer but it will require uh, a copy of the original cat dancer as the material and uh, once return you don't need to tribute a monster to uh attack every monster twice because cat dancer needs a tribute panfer dancer does not and also, uh, when this card destroys a monster by battle, it also gains a bit of attack, so that's pretty nice. We're also playing two copies of Lunar Light Saber Dancer. This card cannot be uh, targeted by card effects, which is pretty good. It also has a ton of attack. It has 3000 plus 200 for each beast warrior in your graveyard or banished. And uh, during your main phase, in when this card is in your graveyard, except the turn that it is sent, you can banish itself to boost one of your monsters' attack by 3,000. That is a ton of attack. You usually don't need this attack boost because usually uh, a single Leo Dancer on its own will be able to OTK, but it's nice to have this option to uh, beat over your opponent's monster and immediately deal enough to one-shot your opponent. And since a lot of your Lunar Lights are level 4, we can also have uh, access to rank 4 monsters. We're playing one Dark Rebellion, we're playing a copy of uh, Dreadnought Dreadnoid, and just will be able to bring out a Great Magnus, and it is a really good generic Xyz just to have if you can't OTK your opponent, and it has a quick effect, which is pretty useful. For skill, we're playing uh, Lunar Light World Lure. In the beginning of your duel, you add these cards to your deck. Uh, and then uh, when you have your life points decreased by 1500, you could activate your skill to grab a Lunar Light Fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand instead of your normal draw. So this is basically Destiny draw, but you grab Lunar Light Fusion every time. Before this skill was in the game, we used to play uh, Destiny draw to grab Lunar Light Fusion because it is not very easy to have in your hand. But now with the uh, new skill, we don't need a 2,000 life point, um, light life point requirement, and instead 1,500 will be enough. And it's actually pretty good because a lot of a lot of low level monsters have attacks in between 1,500 and 2,000. So having one of those monsters attack you will be enough for you to activate your skill and grab yourself a lunar light fusion. So this is the expensive version of the deck, and again, if you have uh, your blue cat, you probably should play it and remove some copy of purple butterflies. 
Um, we are not playing Temperance, and instead we are playing Tenki. Tenki is a really good search spell for Lunar Lights because all of your monsters are Beast Warriors. So basically this allows us to search any Lunar Light that we want, which is pretty good. And for the extra deck, we are playing one less Saber Dancer because realistically we won't be able to make two. And we're playing better rank 4s. We're playing a copy of uh, Tiger King because our monsters are Beast Warriors. This allows us to also search our tanky and give us a an additional search, which is pretty nice. And also it negates our opponent's uh, monster effects. We're playing a copy of Castell. It's probably the new best rank 4 uh, that will probably replace uh, Malevolent Sin. But uh, one thing I want to point out is that Malevolent Sin is able to a banish face down monsters, but Castell can only return face up cards. Sometimes it is good to return face up cards because that also includes uh, face up spells and traps and field spells, but sometimes if you want to OTK, you want to get rid of your opponent's uh, set monsters, so you might also want to consider Malevolent Sin for that purpose. And finally, we also have a copy of Evil Swarm Nightmare if we are able to make two level 4 monsters on our field during our first turn, we can just make a nightmare and uh, have an additional disruption. If you played Lunar Light before, you probably know the biggest weakness of this deck is consistency, because the search, the searches in this deck work in a pretty weird way. So uh, you can't directly search Lunar Light Fusion, you kind of have to find a way to send Yellow Master to the graveyard, and then you can add your fusion to your hand. And that is pretty difficult, there is no one card combo that lets you do that, you always need Yellow Martin plus something like a Emerald Bird, and because they're both limited to 3, this makes it pretty difficult. Uh, Tanky does help in this situation to help you get both of those cards in your hand, for you to have a way to discard Yellow, yellow Martin. But in the free-to-play version, we don't have access to Tanky because it is from another box, so uh, consistency might be a slight issue. And uh, we could try to solve this issue by having hand traps to protect us until we activate the skill to grab uh, fusion directly from our deck. But um, if we play hand traps, that also means that we run into the risk of drawing too many hand traps and not enough material to make our fusion. So consistency will always be the, the main issue for this deck. But if you are able to make your fusion monster, this deck is really good at OTKing, especially because Leo Dancer is immune to so many things. Usually if you make Leo Dancer, you win the game. And uh, even though uh, there are some cards in the meta that deal with non-targetable and non-destructible boss monsters, uh, you usually already win by the time you make a Leo Dancer. You, uh, usually already win on the spot without having your opponent to uh, give them a turn to try to get rid of your monster, so uh, this usually is not a problem. And also most disruptions are targeting and uh, destroying anyway, so uh, our future monster will be able to get around those as well. So basically, in summary, this deck is just a really good OTK deck, but it's just, just pretty inconsistent. So uh, the playstyle will be just waiting for your opponent to attack, and then, and then once you are able to make a fusion monster, you win immediately that turn. And if you don't, uh, you good luck, basically. Okay, for our first game, we are playing in a KC Cup, and uh, we're playing against a thirty card deck. I'm not sure what our opponent is playing. But uh, we do have Emerald Bird plus Martin, so that's pretty good. That allows us to grab a fusion. We will do just that. Discussing the Martin, activating its effect to grab ourselves a fusion. We're going to return back the Emerald Bird to our hand to give us back our material. And then we're going to use three monsters to make Saber Dancer. Because we, our opponent does not have a extra deck monster, we can't make Leo Dancer. So instead, we're going to make the second best thing, which is Saber Dancer. Saber Dancer is pretty tough to get rid of as well because it is uh, unable to be targeted. So our opponent will set free and pass. We're going to make an Xyz monster, summon another level 4, and then try to deal some damage. He's playing Red Eyes, so he's going to make the Red Eyes Baby Dragon, and summon another Baby Dragon, and then destroy that Baby Dragon, and then make a Wyvern. And because we destroyed a monster by battle, we can activate the effect of our Xyz. Our opponent activates bad aim, but they can't target uh, fusion, so they're gonna target the other monster instead, and that allows us to successfully make our Great Madness. Our, we'll activate the effect to get rid of our opponent's back row. He will negate and destroy our monster, which 
is honestly fine, that's, that achieves the same thing. Now without any disruptions, we can safely attack. Our opponent is going to set a black metal, but our purple butterfly will be able to beat over that, and then we're going to have exact lethal damage. For our second game, I think we're playing against uh, speed droids, and um, honestly, yeah, it is. it should be fine, because this deck doesn't really use that many monster effects so uh, it could play through crystal wing without that big of a problem we did not draw a yellow martin but we do have a blue cat so we we're gonna summon it using our purple butterfly and our opponent is going to pop it that's fine we're gonna summon a yellow martin from our deck the opponent is going to do a speed ride combo and uh they're using a card that i've never seen people play before pachingo card could discard a card and pop my monsters uh, but that's fine because that is an effect that sends my monsters to graveyard so that will trigger their effects our opponent will try to deal a bit of damage we will stop that by using our temperance and then uh, because we have uh, enough life points to trigger the, the skill we're going to do that to grab ourselves a fusion you know martin grab back a material and summon itself we're going to use a Panther Dancer from our extra deck, plus two monsters from my hand and field to make ourselves our boss monster. Leo Dancer will be enough to win the game on its own. We're going to attack our opponent's low attack monster, wipe our opponent's entire field. Our opponent is going to grab out a monster that is fine. They won't be able to have another turn because we can attack a second time directly and win the game. Okay, so this is the expensive version. And we are playing against uh, Utopia. We're playing a new skill. Uh, this will be tough for most decks to deal with because their boss monster cannot be targeted. And also, um, they can negate our effects once per turn. But I don't think any of those effects will concern a boss monster, which cannot be targeted and cannot be destroyed. Our opponent is going to lead with a copy of uh, Onomato Para. I'm not sure how, how it's pronounced. Uh, he's going to have a V Salamander on, in his hand, which allows him to do a one-card combo to make himself a uh, ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. And this will be his main boss monster that he's going to end on. He's going to make Utopia Ray using his uh, copy of uh, Utopia. It only has a single material because he made it using V Salamander, but... Uh, that means if he survives to the next turn, he can't use the effect again because he ran out of materials. But anyway, we're gonna grab ourselves a blue cat because we can't really do anything this turn. We don't have access to our fusion spell. So what we're gonna do is gonna set a blue cat and hope for the best. The opponent's going to make Castell and realize that he can't shuffle back face down monsters. So he's gonna instead attack our blue cat. We're gonna summon a emerald bird in attack position because we want us to activate our skill. But turns out we don't have to do that anyway because we just draw ourselves a Lunite Fusion. So we're just gonna use a normal draw and not activate the skill. During our turn, we're gonna summon a White Rabbit, which will be negated by our opponent's Utopia Ray. That is okay. We're gonna make our Tenyi to grab ourselves a Yellow Martin. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what we grab. We just want to grab one more material. He's gonna activate a Cosmic Cyclone. Too late. Should have activated on my Tenki because that would have been able to stop my search. But I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna successfully make a copy of the Leo Dancer, and that is basically the end of the game already. We're gonna activate Leo Martin just because we could. We're gonna grab ourselves a Lunar Light Fusion, attack our opponent's monster, wipe our opponent's entire board, attack our second time, and this will be enough damage for lethal. Good game. 